Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous video, we have covered that how you can set up and add alarm in the Fuxa web scada for any tag. So we have used this tag to create alarm. Okay, so whenever there is an alarm, we can see that alarm here. And whenever there is a normal situation, the alarm will get automatically clear. And if the alarm is not acknowledged, then it will become the passive and that will be available here in the alarm window. Now in this video, what we are going to do is we are going to see that how you can set up the SMTP email profile in the Fuxa Web SCADA to send email to any other person. Okay, so let's see how you can do that. So this SMTP email profile will use to send the notification via mail. Okay, so we have covered the alarm. Okay, so whenever there is any alarm situation, you will see the alarm here. But whenever there is an alarm situation and you want notification over your mail, then you can use the SMTP email profile we, which we are going to set up in the Fuxa Web SCADA. So whenever there is an alarm condition, you will get email notification over your mail. So email notification pipeline, we are going to see in the future videos. But in this video, we will see how you can set up the SMTP email profile in Fuxa Web SCADA. And then after we are going to test it by sending test email. Okay, so let's see how you can do that. So first of all, you have to navigate to the Fuxa Web SCADA editor. And here in the edit project, you have to click here and you have to go to the setting. Okay, so once you click on the setting, you will see there are four options, system, SMTP, DAQ storage and alarms. So you can go to the SMTP and here you can uh, provide the detail for your SMTP email profile. Okay, so I'm going to create this profile for my Outlook email. So I'm going to provide the host name port for Outlook email address. Okay, so here, in my blog which i have created previously for the ignition scada so we are going to use the same setting so here is the host name okay which i am going to use so i will paste the host name here the port number is 587 so i am going to again copy paste the port number then after mail so from which mail you want to send notification or you want to use that mail for notification purpose okay so that mail you have to provide here so I'm going to use my personal email, okay, personal outlook email. So it is available here. So I'm going to copy paste it and yeah, that's it. Now the user. So the mail which you are using in the mail center, the same mail you have to use here. Okay. And the password. So this email ID password you have to specify in the password field. So I have specified the password. Now we can press OK and you can save the project okay so once the project is saved you can go back to the setting again you can go to the smtp section and here you can provide the email address to send the test email so we will go to the temp mail and we will copy this email okay and we will go back to the fuxa scada we will paste that email here and then we will press this test button so this folks has got a server will use this detail and send that mail okay now you can see mail send successful we can go back to the temp mail we can scroll down and here you can see the two email okay so this one is the latest email you can open that mail and uh, the subject is fuxa and the body is test okay you can also check the date 27th april 2024 1605 i mean 405 ist okay so this is the time where we have sent the mail to this email id okay so this is how you can set up the smtp email profile in the fuxa web scada so all you have to do is you have to provide the host name the port number for your outlook account okay outlook smtp profile and then after you have to use your outlook email address which you have to paste it here and then after again you have to paste the same email address here you have to provide the password of that email address and to test the smtp connectivity okay to test the smtp profile what you have to do is first of all you have to save it and then after you have to again go to the setting again you have to navigate to the smtp section you have to paste the email in which you want to send the mail i mean receiver email and you have to click on the test and once you click on the test, it will send that email. And once the mail is successfully delivered or successfully sent, you will see the notification here that mail sent successful. Now you can go back to the temporary mail. You can go back to the list.
okay the mail is not loaded let me wait yeah you can see we have a new mail and the timing is 1606 okay after one minute we have sent the new mail so you can see the same test email we have received in our temporary email okay so this is how you can set up your smtp email profile in the fuxa webscada now we are going to use the same smtp email profile to send a notification over email okay so whenever there is a high value for this tag or this tag we can send notification email to any user or any client so how we can set up those things in the fuxa scada that we are going to see in the next video or in the future videos this video is only about how to set up the smtp email profile in fuxa scada so i hope this thing is clear okay it's a very easy and uh, it's a very straightforward you have to provide the detail you have to enter the password and you have to save your project and then after you have to test it okay so once you test it you will receive the email on your temporary email so i hope this thing is clear to you and uh, the agenda for this video is covered that how to configure smtp email profile in fuxa webscada and then after how to test it by sending email so if you still have any question or any doubt or any confusion then you can always ping me on whatsapp telegram instagram anywhere also you can send comment on this video also you can send me a mail so we will meet you in the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you